Back in 2020, I spent $1,500 on a smart mirror. It was made by a company called Mirror, later bought out by Lululemon and rebranded as the Lululemon Studio Mirror. I don't think they manufacture this device anymore, but if you still have one, it relies on a subscription to access the workouts. And without that, it does basically nothing. Under the hood, this mirror is really just a screen, a processor, and a power supply. It had some useful add-ons like a microphone, a networking module, and a five megapixel camera. I'd guess the two-way glass is probably the most expensive part of the whole mirror. You'd think that a device like this would support gesture controls or some other advanced AI features. It felt like it had a lot of potential. So as someone who believes deeply in the right to repair, I decided to jailbreak it. It was very easy to take apart. I kept the display, the speakers, and the power supply. For the new processor, I used a spare Jetson Nano, and I added this little mini wireless keyboard so that I could actually interact with it. So at this point, the computer was fully functional, and it was just a matter of customizing the software. I started with Magic Mirror, which is an open source platform designed specifically for smart mirrors. It's a great starting point, but it uses a very specific grid layout that requires a little bit of work to customize effectively, and most of the setups are just black backgrounds with white text with a lot of empty space so that you can use it as a mirror all the time. It's functional, but not very exciting. And because it's just a Node.js web server, I ended up just building my own web server from scratch using Python and Django. I have affirmations at the top and bottom, and I use the Notion API to pull my daily tasks and habits, and any changes that I make on the mirror are actually reflected on my Notion dashboard. I integrated my Google calendars with their service account feature, which allows you to use the Python API to access specific shared calendars. It's read only for now, but could easily be extended to support edits. The vision board is pulled from Pinterest. I use this gallery downloader tool that makes it really easy to just download all the images from my vision board. And so I can update the source images at any point in time. And the app itself just selects a small subset of those images every day so that I get a different kind of vibe each morning. The Spotify widget is still a work in progress. Currently it's just embed code, but eventually I want to link it to my account and play things off of my Google Home speaker group. And if I actually want to use it as a mirror, I can just toggle mirror mode by clicking this little Little mirror emoji at the top right. All the code is on GitHub if you're interested. The whole dashboard is designed to be a simple yet effective second brain, much like what we see on Notion all the time. And I don't necessarily think that this is a huge deviation from the spirit of a smart mirror. So sometimes the smartest devices aren't necessarily the ones packed with endless features. They're the ones that are designed to serve you. Jailbreaking this mirror has allowed me to take ownership of my workflow in the mornings. And I think that's really smart.